tell us a little about the programme you are doing. Well, I've come to Woonbra to write my dissertation in the history of ideas. I was studying a two-year part-time history of ideas at a college in London and completed four essays, but then had some discussions about the topic of my dissertation, which didn't really fit within one academic um, category for the supervision. So I left that college and I've come to Woomera to write a dissertation to complete my master's in history of ideas. Can you explain <laughs> to me exactly what history of idea of ideas is. Um, well, history of ideas is a separate discipline which usually sits within a department of history, classics, and archaeology. Um, the real the real core of history of ideas is to examine the origin of an idea and how it has been transmitted through time. And um, just going back to um, why did you choose Warnborough? Um, well, I chose Warnborough because after I decided to not write the dissertation at the London College, I, I decided not to write the dissertation full stop and then looked at other options. Okay. So then a Google search brought up History of Ideas at Warnborough. Um, and I contacted Woomera and um, started started the process. Okay. So uh, yes. And how yeah. easy did you find the process? Um, very very straightforward actually. Very straightforward um, because it was made clear at the outset that this would be possible to write just the dissertation, which obviously some colleges wouldn't. You know that wouldn't be possible. You'd have to start all the way back again. Um, and I did have those four essays, so I, I have a postgraduate diploma level. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't have the dissertation. So at Woomera it's been possible now to join to write the dissertation. And so everything was geared, you know, communication was geared towards that, which was um, fantastic. Yes, yeah, it was very, very helpful. And working with your mentor, how are you finding that? Um, again, because of, because of um, moving house and doing this and that, in the last year I've been very slow in starting um, now I am linked up with him um, it's it's great mm -hmm. it's great he's been very helpful on the wording of the title um, it's quite a wide topic I'm writing on and I was having great difficulty with the wording of the title mm -hmm. um, and he has been immensely helpful yeah immensely helpful I would say he's a real historian of ideas and you sort of know, you know, you just sort of, it's like this secret language between people, you just <laughs> sort of, you just sort of know. <laughs> and um, is there a place for schools like Warmbur today compared to other colleges? Um, well, I think there is, you know, I've come through the majorly regular British academic system, um, but at dissertation level I got majorly stuck. Um, so, you know, because I'm interested in a pre-scientific revolution as well, it was a bit ironic that I was studying something which was then not possible because of modern day academic restrictions. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, somewhere like Warmbra, which takes, which looks at an idea um, as the number one, mm -hmm. um, it's the place to be able to write this because that that is the history of ideas mm -hmm. in effect you know that is the history of ideas um yes and it's it's much more challenging actually to have to look at a subject in its in itself rather than in its context of what it's become today i'm going to start talking about history of ideas again <laughs> <laughs> so when you're so, um, yes i think that absolutely is because i think life has become too specialized which in the end becomes self defeating i would say i would say in pre when were all the education acts? Nineteen seventies. Yeah. In some of the big, the big collections of old books, you can almost see what happened around that time. That people used to be able to be naturalists and antiquarians and yeah. take a walk in the countryside and all sorts of things would present themselves to that person looking, and then it would be written in a way that transmits knowledge. But nowadays everything's so specific; mm -hmm. they wouldn't be linking up with the person in the next door room you know it's like going to a doctor if you have a so i'm just using this as a general example if you have something wrong here 
they look at there, but it might be something Somewhere else. else. Or, yeah, yeah. You know, I have major diet diet reactions. Mm-hmm. I've got a real Stone Age system. And you know, <laughs> I, I used to get bronchial pneumonia every year, but that was given antibiotics, antibiotics. Oh, well, yeah. I have a cow's milk allergy. Yeah. But nobody look at looks at the yeah, allergies yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And actually, when one can look at a whole subject in, its, in itself, um, it's just a different approach. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really, really happy to have joined Ormford to be able to write about this. And when you're not studying and in the library, what do you like to do? Um, what do I like to do? Um, what do I like to do? I'm a hiker. I'm musical. I've got a piano. Um, last week... I bought a viola. Um, I've moved way up north to a very curious town. Two weeks ago, I bought a very amazing microscope from someone in town. An amazing Ooh. microscope. And one week ago, I bought a viola. <laughs> so, yes, I'm interested in nature. I'm interested in nature. So. Okay, thank you, Anne. Thank you.